All right, welcome back. In this lecture, we're going to talk about the layer menu shortcuts, keyboard shortcuts. So, the first thing I want to do is we're going to close out this image that we worked with in the previous video. So, I'm going to save it. And Untitled 4, we'll just hit Control S and then Control W to close that out. Now, what I want to do is hit Control N and we're going to do Untitled 6. Okay, I'm going to hit Control Shift S and we're going to save that to the desktop. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to learn about the layers. Okay, so we're going to talk specifically about the layer menu. And a lot of the shortcuts here are going to be ones that you can see right in front of you here. Um, right there and then right here. Okay, so I just want to give you kind of a visual aid on that. So if I hit, so I want you to watch from down here or wherever your layers panel is. If we hit shift control and what that's going to do is it's going to prompt up a new layer. Okay, so we can name it whatever we want. We can also give it a color and we can put it in a mode. So if you want to give it a different mode, then you can. Um, I'm going to leave it as normal. I'm going to hit OK. And now you can see layer one is red and we're, it's selected, right? So if I do another one, let's do Shift Control N and let's give this one orange. Okay, and we'll just keep it layer two. And then let's make another one. And we're going to give it yellow. Okay, and then we'll make another one. And we're going to give it the color green. And we'll do three more. So we're going to do blue, violet, and then gray. Okay, so we should have a total of seven new layers that we've created with this keyboard shortcut. And the reason why that's important, okay, the reason why creating a new layer is important is because I use this tool all the time. Whenever I need a new layer, shift control N. This is one of the main keyboard shortcuts I use. Okay, I could spend an entire v a course just talking about layers. So, the point is, is that new layer is a great keyboard shortcut, okay? And it's going to make your life so much easier. So, the next thing we're going to talk about is layer via copy. So, if I hit control J, it's going to copy layer 7, which, I got to be honest, I didn't even know that you could do that. That's awesome. That's something that I learned when I was researching for this course, okay? Now, if we want to cut that layer, we can hit shift control J. And what that's going to do, so if I hit shift control J, it's going to cut the layer, and then we're going to hit, uh, let's see, how do I paste this then? Okay, well, that's to duplicate it. Um, the cut, I, I guess, I'll just delete it. Um, the layer via cut. I don't even know why that's a keyboard shortcut, honestly. Um, if we wanted to export a layer as a JPEG, you hit shift control explanation point or apostrophe. Okay. And it's empty, right? So let's do this. Let's grab a brush and I'm going to do that. And then we'll try it again. And now you can see I can export it right from the layer. That's awesome. So that's, that's a quick export as PNG is what that is. So if I save this as layer seven and then minimize this for a second, you can see right here we have layer seven. Okay. So how cool is that to be able to go from the layer and just quick export it out as an, uh, a quick export is PNG. That's awesome. Now, if you want to export as, we're going to hit Alt, Shift, Control, Apostrophe, right? And what that's going to do is it's going to take us to the prompt menu where we can select the format and select a lot more options here. So I can export all, and we're going to call this layer 78 instead of 7, so I can save it. And then when I go to the desktop, there it is, right here. Beautiful. Okay, so I'm going to save this with Control-S. 
Now, the next thing we can do is create a clip-in mask. So if I hit Alt, Control, G, okay, what that's going to do is it's going to mask what I have. So layer masks are really cool. Basically, the idea behind it is you put an object here, and then you can mask over it with something. Or you can hide part of it and then show other parts of it. Um, that's another entire course I can go over. So I'm not going to cover it in depth. I'm just going to give you a broad stroke. And that's really the broad stroke at this point. Now, the next shortcut is group layers. So this, so if we hit Control-G, this is a crazy cool keyboard shortcut because I just did that six times, right? So if I hit Control-Z, okay, and go back, you see that I don't have to even use my mouse really when I'm doing this. You still need a mouse for this, but that's all you should be using the mouse for is for that. Like I shouldn't have to use it for tools. I should know what the shortcuts are so that I can, you see what I'm doing here? I'm just, I'm going haywire right now. But the point is, is that if you know the keyboard shortcuts, you don't need to use this or this at all, really. And then you can focus on getting work done. So anyway, um, Control G is an awesome keyboard shortcut because you can create groups with this. So I can grab these layers, throw them up here, grab these layers, throw them in group two. Okay. And I'm, if you highlight it and then hit Control G, they, they go inside, right? So if I created, so let's go outside of the box here and hit, we're going to do shift control N. So we'll do a couple layers here. Just make four layers, highlight them, then hit control G and now you have group four. That's how easy it is. And that makes it really easy to group layers. Now, if you don't want to ungroup, you hit shift control G. Okay. And then it will ungroup it. If you want to hide the layers, hit control and comma. That will hide the layers. You want to unhide the layers, do the same thing. If you want to lock the layers, control backslash, and that will lock the layers. Now, these are two keyboard shortcuts, again, that I did not know before I researched this. What I've been doing is the old school way, which you highlight it and then you click on this. So I've actually learned a few things here, and I'm quite proud of saying that I'm always willing to learn something. So I'm never the smartest person in the room, I'm kind of in the middle, okay? Um, so let me undo that. Now you can merge down, so if I hit Control E, what this is gonna do is it's gonna merge all those layers together, okay? And then merge visible, we're gonna hit Shift Control E. And that will do all of them. So all the layers were grouped together. So you can merge down, which means any layers that are highlighted, they're gonna merge together. And then merge visible means all your layers are going to be flattened into one. So if you want to export this out as an image, it will do that if you save it as an image. But this is another way you can do that where if you want to, you know, merge them together, that's a way to do it. All right, so I'm going to save this file. I'm going to undo that and undo that as well. And thanks for watching this lecture. I'll see you in the next lecture.